Today, shoals of round sardinella have been spotted out at sea. Immediately, the men set off. Ahead of the boat, the shoal is just breaking the surface. At the moment, we're looking for the fish over there. If we see them on the surface, we'll put the net out. But if we can't see them, we'll go shallower, and then we'll put the net out. We'll catch the fish at the bottom. Once they locate the shoal, they cast the net in the sea. Then the boat goes round in a circle and comes back to its starting point. Fishing for round sardinella needs a purse seine, a big net which requires two boats. That rope closes the net at the bottom so that the fish can't get out. The sardinella are caught in the trap. Now comes the hard part, pulling up the net. It's an extremely punishing job that requires the participation of the whole crew. The pelicans have already worked out that it's a good catch today. There are two sorts. This one is the better one. Here, we call this one Yabomba. And this one Tas. Sometimes you only catch this type. But sometimes it's only this type. But sometimes they're mixed together. The fishing income is divided into three shares. One share for the boat and the engine, one share for the nets, and one share for the crew. Almost all of Get and Dar is waiting for the boats to return. The fishermen's work ends here, and the work starts for the porters and the wholesalers. A whole network that feeds and supports thousands of people originates on this beach. The fishermen unload tens of thousands of tons of fish here every year, one third of the production of Senegal. The first into action are the porters. The fish can't wait and must be sent on their way quickly. Some of the catch will be processed. It's the women who take charge of this operation. So that they can be kept and sold, the fresh sardinella must be cooked, salted, dried or smoked. The porters also load up the wholesalers' trucks, which will distribute the fish throughout the country. The types of fish intended for export will go to Dakar. A well-regulated system takes the fish from the fisherman's boat to the seller's store. The porters bring them here. There are people here who sort them and separate them. Then, they go to be weighed. After weighing, they go to accounts. After that, they go into the ice, and the driver takes them away. Fish wholesaling is above all a family business. This is Mama. Her job is to supervise the work. Her son Maha also watches the work. Together. Yes, we're a family. We work like that as a family. And again, it's the women who have taken charge of things. In Saint Louis in Senegal, the whole Getendar quarter is one big family. They always help each other. A long time ago, these fishing people learned to pool their resources in order to survive. They have to manage and to know how to make everything, starting with the boats. Come on, come on. 
In a workshop on a street corner, a mechanic is repairing an engine. It's the heart of the boat, a crucial element. And since they only have one on board, it can't break down. So, using what he has to hand, the fishing mechanic tries to produce a miracle to guarantee that these often out-of-date engines keep working. Further on, the blacksmith is finishing off a grappling hook with white-hot steel rods. Everything's ready to go back out to sea. Nighttime fishing. The boats go out without lights or markers. Fishing becomes more dangerous. These expeditions often encourage the men to fish illegally in Mauritanian waters. They risk arrest by the maritime police with seizure of the boat, engine and net. The fishermen of Getendar sometimes find conditions more difficult. When the price of fish comes down, they accept jobs on foreign fishing boats for long-distance fishing trips. But there are some days when the boats remain on the beach. Fishermen from all over the Senegalese coast meet in Getendar for a festival. They are all proud to be a part of one of the most famous trades in the country. Nothing matters except the pleasure of being together. Tomorrow, the boats will pass through the breakers again and the fishermen will return to the sea.